Zach Thomas was absolutely ecstatic about it last night when the Dolphins arrived. Kitna. Over the middle. That's complete. Mike Pritchard gets enough for the first down to the 34-yard line. And some players being a little testy, too. A fight broke out. Fun to watch. Kitna. Rolls this time. Throwing over the middle. Has his man complete. Inside the 25-yard line is Mike Pritchard. That's another first down. 13 consecutive scores in the red zone. On the screen, Waters to the 10, to the 8-yard line. Beavers on third down. Straight drop for Kitna. End zone, touchdown! Nine yards to Sean Dawkins. 33 for 33 on extra points this season. And with 6.18 to play here in the first quarter, Sean Dawkins and the Seattle Seahawks are up seven. On Kitna. From the 49-yard line, Dan Marino to throw. That's complete. Inside the 40 to the 33-yard line is O.J. McDuffie for a first down. It's the last few weeks. J.J. Johnson. Across the 30-yard line, stopped by Darren Smith. Oh, when they wanted to, when the guys got hurt and Cecil Collins got in trouble, it changed his football team. This time, Johnson inside the 25 to the 22. J.J. was about ready to come back a week and a half ago. Five out of six offensive plays. Marino throws. That's inside the 20-yard line and complete to number 89, the tight end Ed Perry. Marino needs the 12-yard line for a first down. Time. Throws. Complete. And that'll be short of a first down. That ball has been whistled down. Tony Martin close to a first down. And it's good. 2.05 to play here in the first quarter. And the Dolphins put three on the board. 7-3 Seattle. Give it to Ricky Waters, running room right side. Ball is loose on the ground, but it is blown down or signaled down, so that's no fumble. See how far Kitna has to go for a first down. Quick pass, far side, complete. Pritchard gets out of bounds, but not before he gets the first down. To listen to the whole scenario, especially how it changed when Joey Galloway came in. Kitna over the middle, complete. Out across the 35 is Reggie Brown out of the backfield, and that's a first down. It's Joey Galloway back on the field now. Kitna with all kinds of time and throws down the middle and overthrows everyone except Brock Marion. Marion back to the 20, the 30, the 40, and out of bounds. On second down, the screen. J.J. Johnson tripped up and falls down back at the 37-yard line. Here comes the crowd. Marino over the middle, incomplete. They're looking for a penalty marker, which doesn't come. This time the give is to Waters. And Zach Thomas catches up with him at about the 29-yard line. 29% on third down attempts. Kittner with time to throw and then goes down. Trace Armstrong, number 93, seven and a half sacks on the season, led the charge. We stick with what got you there, just live with what you see on the field, and that's really helped him late in the season. There he goes, right back to you. And right out close to the 30-yard line, close to a first down is Sean Dawkins, and he appears to have it. Percy is a quarterback. The question is, can you come back from it? He has. Kitna oh. throws out this side. Waters all by himself to the 40. Out of bounds at the 44-yard line, and a penalty marker is down. Personal foul. Defense number 29. Unnecessary roughness. Late hit out of bounds. Pro Bowl cornerback Sam Madison for a big game. First down from the Miami 41. Waters again. Across the 35 and out of bounds. Kevin Dyson coming up on the NASDAQ halftime report. Ricky Waters to the 31. For a first down. And the Seahawks are that short. It was done on third down conversions on third short. Waters 
And Waters is tackled back to the line of scrimmage by Sean Wood. So don't look for any fake here. From 50 yards. Oh, he got a lot of foot into that. Todd Peterson from 50 yards out is good. And three more on the board for the Seahawks. They stretch their lead to 10-3. On the red zone, he's happy to get out of here with just three points. Well, that's, you know, Greg, that's why the Dolphins have won so many close, low-scoring games. You say, well, that is just terrible. But it really isn't. Let's look at it. 10-3 to here in this dome, traveling. Has 40 seconds and two timeouts. Steps up, pulls it down, and is wrapped up inside the 20-yard line. Sam Adams and Michael Sinclair have their arms around him. Let's check in with Armin Katayan. Armin. Thanks, Greg. Coach, even down by seven, you've got to be happy the way this game is setting up for you. Well, you know, we've said all along we're going to try to win it in the fourth quarter, and, you know, we had bad field position to start the game off, and that's uh, that's how they got their uh, touchdown. Then we had a 15-yard penalty on the, uh, uh, the field goal they got. So, uh, yeah, I think we're in still in good shape. We just got to keep uh, mixing it up. All right. Thanks, Coach. Greg. All right, Urban, our halftime score. The Seahawks 10 and the Dolphins 3 coming up. Our halftime score. And this one's sailing down and out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Phil Sims shaking his head. Oh, let's, let's take a look as he goes to the sideline and what? Uh, Mike Homer. Yep, he's from the 40-yard line. Marino over the middle, wide open is O.J. McDuffie. And McDuffie just across midfield, that'll be enough for a first down. Probably not a whole lot that's surprising. Not much. Seattle, you can see, they had more yards. They moved it better. They looked better on offense, but... First down for Marino, and the handoff is to J.J. Johnson, wrapped up by Sam Adams. Way back at the beginning of the game, we told you that Sam Adams... Help precipitate a bit of a scuffle in practice. His teammates on second and 13. Marino with time has his man over the middle, and that's tight end Hunter Goodwin, who is ridden out of bounds at about the 48 yard line. All at the 47 yard line. Marino throws, has a man wide open. Inside the 30 is McDuffie, and McDuffie to the 20 and a first down. Five wide receivers for Marino. Quick pass, far side, complete, inside the 15 and out of bounds is Tony Martin. About a seven on third down attempts today. Throws out here in the flat, J.J. Johnson cuts it back inside. First down and more inside the 10-yard line. It'll be first and goal for the Miami Dolphins. Johnson to the two. Is there some head knocking going on? <laughs> Marino looks to throw it. Touchdown. Penalty marker flies. Aronde Gadsden with the catch. Come back to tie. Dan Marino. Career touchdown. Number 421. Number 31 in the postseason. Six. Rodgers and Kerry Joseph. And this will be Charlie Rodgers. Lost the handle. Picked it up. 20. 25. 30. And here he goes. Oh, Lindo. with the touchdown. Hawks answer right back. Charlie Rogers, a 94-yard punt return during the season. 93 yards on the kickoff return here today. McIntyre and our ace CBS Sports crew, Greg Gumbel. John Kitten at a throw. And his to the seven yard line, Zach Thomas coming after the quarterback again. No, from the 36. JJ Johnson. No, make it Autry Denson. Denson across midfield. For Denson. And he gets the handoff again. And look at this. Inside the 40 to the 36 yard line. The pitch for Denson. Cuts it back inside, but nothing there. This distance, the Dolphins are 0 for 3. Marino, time, throws, complete to Conrad, but he'll be short of the first down. This season, 54. Oh, look at the distance. 
No, it doesn't make a difference kicking inside. It doesn't. <laughs> Really With doesn't. room to spare, Orlando Mari puts three more on the board for Miami. And it's now a 17 to 13 Seattle lead. I mean, this was easy. He didn't even press, didn't put any extra effort into it. You know, Phil, he has he must have a machine in his head that makes him kick field goals. Yeah, he does. It, no, it's in his foot. That's what it does. And he's had a terrific year. And listen, the Miami Dolphins are in this playoff in this playoff game today and in the playoffs period because of their kicker. It happens. Side, onside kick, popped up in the air, loose ball. The Dolphins say they have it. Did they get it before it went out of bounds? Yes. How about this, Jimmy Johnson? What a, it's unbelievable, not afraid to take chances. Johnson and, Kel and Stanley Pritchett in the backfield. And J.J. is wrapped up behind the 40-yard line. Chad Brown. And the penalty marker is down. Well, Matt LeBounty, number 99. I, can't, I couldn't see who he was fighting with. Hunter Goodwin. At the conclusion of the play, Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 83 offense. 15-yard penalty, repeat, first down. 24-yard line. First and 29. Marino has a man wide open, it's McDuffie. McDuffie out of bounds, close to the 45-yard line, and the Dolphins get a chunk of it right back. J.J. Johnson. Michael Sinclair makes the stop at about the 48-yard line. One, and he gets to play off in time. Throwing to the far side, up in the air, and incomplete. Aronde Gadsden, the intended receiver, Willie Williams, right there with it. Try to pressure the offense, and John Kitna. Here they come. On the blitz, Kitna, he loses, throws down the sideline, and there's a penalty marker. Patrick Sertain grabbed on to Sean Dawkins. Third and nine. Over the middle, incomplete. He intended for Joey Galloway. From the 40, J.J. Johnson breaks through. Across midfield, across the 45, to the 42-yard line. Comes the blitz. Marino throws, incomplete. And the Dolphins will have to kick. Well, what you got to do, pressure on Dan Marino. Galloway in motion on third down. Kitna over the middle. Oh, what a diving catch by Foria. The fake to water. Kitna on the move, throws, complete, and what a hit on Foria, but he held on to the football. Brock Marion at full speed from the safety position. Four wide receivers on third and two. Kitna. Time running out on him is caught from behind and brought down. Trace Armstrong again. Field position by about 35 yards. J.J. Johnson wrapped up by Chad Brown. Safety's creeping up for the blitz. And there was movement up front. Might have been Richmond Webb. Has to be careful. Not to give it away. From his goal line, throws. Oh, what a catch across the 30-yard line by Tony Martin. Here in the fourth quarter. Far side, complete, out of bounds. Martin again. The Seahawks off balance, second and seven. Steps up over the middle, caught by Martin inside the 30-yard line, and another first down for the Dolphins. Marino has it batted back into his face. Not enough separation between the quarterback and offensive line. And a man jump offside, up the middle, complete, inside the 10 to the 5-yard line is a Rondé Gadsden. And now let's check the marker. Up first and goal at the 5. 
J.J. Johnson. To the two. Second and goal. The pitch to Johnson. Cuts it back. Touchdown. Seattle fans are a little quieter. Dan Marino engineered an 11 play, 85 yard drive. And whistles blow, flags fly, and a false start on the Seahawks. Getting up under the gun and down he goes at the 15 yard line. Trace Armstrong, number three on the day. Allow Trace Armstrong to get the sack. On second down. Kitna down again. Jerry Wilson and Rich Owens. Hard line for a first down. Kitna caught again. Trace Armstrong has been all over the backfield. High kick. Jacket from the 36. Midfield. 40 to the 38 yard line and great field position for the Miami Dolphins. The pitch for Denson. Wrapped up for a loss by Chris Canty, number 26. And the Dolphins will not run another play before the two minute warning sound. Third and 15. They'll keep it on the ground, and Denson is wrapped up by Darren Smith. And it's worked so far today. Third down. Kitna throws far side, almost picked off by Sam Madison. Kitna steps up, throws over the middle. Sean Dawkins complete for a first down. Entirety immediately following this game, except on the West Coast. Kitna with time, throws near side, picked off. Terrell Buckley. The knee, that will do it. The Miami Dolphins qualify to move on to Jacksonville. Tennessee will play Indianapolis on Sunday. Miami and Jacksonville Saturday. Jimmy Johnson, last words in our meeting last night. We can win this football game. Once again, our final score, Miami 20 and Seattle 17. Coming up next on CBS, except in the Pacific time zone, watch 60 Minutes.